I'm curious. Do you have anything against? Well, I don't want to dish this one yet. Anything against the Grob G4? The Grob uh, yeah. So yeah. Um, against the Grob, I'll admit that my opening preparation is basically one move and three arrows. <laughs> okay. We can and work that's with that. all. That's all you need, really. Okay. Let's see. So a, a lot of people just just to kind of share the main trap of why white plays a grab. A lot of people play d5, and then they walk into trouble if they grab the pawn. And then there's a common trap like c4, c6, takes, takes, queen b3 hitting the pawn. And then a lot of people play this and then blunder their bishop. Ah, yeah. Very similar to what we saw for the black pieces. Yeah, That's same cool. tactical idea. Yep. Bishop is loose. It's nice. So if you're playing black here, and your opponent plays g4. The move I'm, I'm very happy to play is pawn e5. Mm, okay, this is and why Grob will... does so well against me, because I'm terrified to play e5. Oh. Yeah, I guess if you're not a king's pawn player as you know, white, then maybe it's, it's a different development scheme. It's a good time for But the reason for playing e5 is because is white will always put the bishop on g2. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to play knight e7, knight g6, knight h4. Wow. This is and very nice. actually very strong. 